Hi everyone, welcome back to Wesno's Tech News and Reviews. You know, quite often we have to get on the channel, we have to review watches, we have to test them. But when do we actually get a chance to just sit down and talk about the smart watches, fitness trackers or sport watches that we love, that we simply enjoy using on a day-to-day -day basis or they have something that is just so special, so convenient and so forth. Well. The fact is, today is just that day and we're going to be talking about a smartwatch which is so budget, it's unbelievably budget, it costs cheaper than the Fitbit Inspire 2 which is a fitness tracker. We are going to be talking about the GTS 2 Mini from a mass fit. Now this budget smartwatch has a GPS, it's got a 1.55 inch AMOLED display. It's got so many tricks up its sleeve and it just looks so nice. It just, it, it feels nice. It looks premium. And yeah, anyway, let's get into it. Let me tell you and show you the Amazfit GTS2 Mini. If you are new to Wesno's tech news and reviews, we talk about the latest tech news. We do brutally honest reviews and share hacks and tricks along the way. At the end of the day, why do we buy smart watches, fitness trackers or sport watches? Well, let's say you're a student. I just can't see you pulling out your phone to get a sneak peek at that message of yours on a lecture. Well, the same actually goes for the office workers. You can't just be sitting in a meeting and pulling out your phone looking at who called you or who sent you that message. Then of course you've got all the fitness minded folk who want a lot of sport modes. On top of that, they want a waterproof design as well as GPS to track their cycles, their runs and so forth. And then of course, if you do get yourself a Xiaomi or an Amazfit wearable, you can get Pi, a single value metric that basically summarizes how your heart is coping with all the stresses of your life, with all the fast food and the occasional exercises. Let me share something personal with you. The first ever fitness tracker that I got was for all the wrong reasons. You see, I'm a very deep sleeper and I would have the alarm clock in the morning just basically waking up the whole household because it was screaming and blaring and yeah, it was just not efficient at all. So I was looking for some options how I could get myself woken up without waking everybody else up in the house. And it turned out that the cheapest way to do that was to get a fitness tracker with a silent alarm. Basically, it's vibrating on your wrist and you naturally wake up. So without further ado, what I want to do in this particular video is take you through 10 optimal things in the GTS 2 Mini which allow you to have such a rich feature list for only 100 bucks or 80 pounds. Let's kick off with sleep. So the GTS 2 Mini can actually monitor three sleep stages. So you like your deep and REM sleep, but that's pretty cool. But the most important thing here is that you also get a sleep score and suggestions on how to actually improve your sleep. Now, another really cool thing is that a Masfit and Xiaomi watches are actually adding in the medical references on the advice that they give you in regards to your sleep. Now, this is actually really cool and previously was only available on the true sleep functions of the Huawei and Honor watches. But it's really good to see that a Masfit and Xiaomi have also stepped in the right direction because it does make those sleep recommendations just a bit more scientific and well it just makes you trust them just that little bit more. Now there's also a stress monitor so the GTS 2 Mini can check to see where your personal stress level lies from relaxed, normal, medium or high anytime you feel pressured or stressed throughout the day. You also get suggestions in the Zep app on how to reduce that stress. A nice touch is the addition of a guided breathing app and you can use it to relax or simply perform respiratory exercises. The watch also gets an on-demand SpO2 monitor aka blood oxygen saturation monitor. Considering the monitor is on-demand essentially only at a point in time and transferred to your smartphone when synced and you can see the trends in the Zep app or you can see the trends up to 3 hours on your watch. Now the Mini also gets Pi 
So this is something we discussed, but just like any other MOSFET or Xiaomi wearable, the Pi score is calculated by processing data about your heart rate and activity intensity, sleep metrics and other health data. It's a single value score that provides a customized health evaluation for each user based on their unique health data. So the rule of thumb is keep that score above 100 points and generally you're 25% less prone to getting heart disease. The watch also gets 70 sport profiles. These range from the basics like running and walking, but tap on more sports and choose from a range of sport categories like ball games, winter sports, dance sports, with the likes of ballroom dancing, hip hop and belly dancing. The mini is all the more functional due to being 5 ATM waterproof and having inbuilt GPS. Inbuilt GPS gives you independence from your smartphone for distance and speed tracking. And we have previously did GPS accuracy with the GTS1, the GTR2, as well as the GTS2 Mini, where we put the Amazfit watches against the likes of Garmin, Huawei, Honor, Fitbit. And in all those tests, the Amazfit GPS receivers were very good. In fact, in some of the tests, they were shown to be the best. Now, I've placed the links to these videos in the description and in the cards at the top. Additionally, the Mini includes a compass, air pressure and altitude widgets. So, something interesting to play around with. What makes the GTS2 Mini so much more functional is that all sport modes are now goal-based. That means that not only can you view your real-time data, you can set goals per workout, for example, calories to be burned, distance and time to perform an exercise. So goal-based exercises are basically a step up from just having sport modes, but you can't set an objective of those particular exercises. Here, you've got a range. So let's say if you're running, you can set a goal of, say, cover a distance of 5k but if you're swimming your goal will be different as in you put the number of laps you want to swim and you can actually adjust the length of the pool as well so it is customizable and it's quite smart tech sports and activities were given plenty of thought in this watch we can talk for hours about all the features here but the highlights are you can adjust and customize the data displayed during your activities you can also adjust the real-time graphs for your health metrics. On top of this functionality, you also get activity alerts. So something like the heart rate range alert. So if your heart rate is out of the predefined heart rate range, when you're working out, the watch vibrates to notify that your heart rate is too high or too low and displays your current heart rate. And then you also get the pace too slow alert. So for all the runners out there, you're really going to appreciate this function or this feature. Basically, if your pace is too slow, well, slow within the predefined range you've set before you run, the watch will vibrate and actually tell you on the watch face what your current pace is. So you will know that, yep, I need to speed up and off you go. So this is actually very well thought through and quite useful. You also get a Pomodoro tracker. Now, the Pomodoro tracker app allows you to manage time scientifically and set the concentration time in a cycle. The theory behind Pomodoro is that each work period lasts 25 minutes and is followed by a 5 minute break. You can create custom work time and break time by tapping the up and down arrows. The fact is, I'm a time management freak and considering I've got this channel to run um, as well as the finance channel I started, I'll actually leave a link to it in the description below the video as well, I do need to manage my time quite steadily and if previously I had an app with the Pomodoro tracker on it, I don't use the app anymore. All I do is I lay the watch on the desk in front of me and I know that for 25 minutes I'm doing that. Five minutes I take a break and then back into it again. So everything is time boxed and it makes things just generally more efficient. We don't usually discuss alarms or any core and basic features on Wesnos, but now you know that I sleep deep and alarms are very important for me. Hence, it might be handy to know that you can add up to 10 alarms on the ZEP app or the watch face directly. Now, this is actually really cool. So 10 alarms on a smartwatch and on the face directly, that is very cool because usually you're limited to four or six, but 10. So I'm really, really happy about that. On top of that, 
the fact is you can also set the vibration strength on the watch so you've got the light the medium and the strong well you can guess what i'm setting mine to yep it's on strong who is the mini 4 well the gts2 mini in my mind has the health minded and sport enthusiasts in its sights. The amount of sport and well-being features and functions is staggering. Of course the watch will accommodate the casual users as well, but if you're on the lookout for a solid yet budget activity and health metric tracker with tons of optionality and customizations, this watch is definitely for you. Thanks for watching everyone. If you did find this video useful and insightful, you know what to do. Please click the red subscribe button below the video to make sure you don't miss any of the upcoming content.